When you are working with .NET Identity and you try to scaffold the built-in .NET Identity, you run into weird error messages and if you are unable to move forward, you are at the right video. Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery. My name is Brugain and in this short video, I have an existing .NET 6 application where I have multiple projects. Basically in the data access, I have application DB context where I am using identity DB context and in the web project, I want to scaffold the .NET identity for login, register and other pages. But .NET identity has been flunky and many times the error message you see are not descriptive and you do not know how to move forward. So let me show you one workaround that will work every time. But before we get started, if you enjoy free content in .NET world, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Recently, what Microsoft has done has broken the way we scaffold identity and it is not working for many of my students. They are frustrated because they are seeing weird error messages and they are not able to resolve them. And all of that is related to how Microsoft has bundled everything together. I hope they will have a fix for this pretty soon, but scaffolding identity has always been one of those things that has broken many times. So if you encounter that issue, in this video, I want to show you how you can resolve that. Now initially when I recorded this video, it was using .NET 6 RC1. So first let me update that to the latest version. I will first start with the data access project, right click and we will select manage NuGet packages and there let me go to the updates tab and let me update all of the version. Perfect that is done. Now let me right click on the web project manage NuGet packages for that, go to the update tab and update all the packages. Perfect. So now we are on the latest version of .NET 6. With that, let me try to scaffold identity. We will right click on the web project, add new scaffolded item. We will go with identity. Now we have the option that we need to select with identity. After you make change in the application DB context, sometimes I have seen this screen does not even load up. One thing that I have seen that helps is making sure you rebuild the complete solution. But if that also does not work, then restart Visual Studio and that should load the screen. But then here we will override all the files because with identity we have many templates that are built in by the .NET identity team. If you want to load only login, logout and register page, you can select only those three. But for now, let me select all the pages that are available right here. Then we have the data context. We will select application DB context because we added the identity DB context in there. With that, let me hit the add button. Now this time with .NET version 6.0.9 as of this recording had this issue. And there is no good way of fixing this right now. So rather than having you guys being stuck at this and not continue with the course, I have one workaround. And for that workaround, we will be creating a new project. Basically, right here, I will start with an empty MVC application. I will use the same project name as the web project, which is Bulky Book Web, and the solution name that is Bulky Book. But this time, I am creating it in a different folder where I can delete it later on. I am using .NET 6 here. Authentication type, let me keep that as none and hit the create button. Now one thing that will surprise you is here, if you go back to the old project and from there, 
let me copy the data context let me copy the class name and create that file right here call it application db context and i will copy everything from there paste it here we do not have any db set on this new project so i will remove that and let me do control dot to add the package for ASP.NET Core dot identity dot entity framework core. Perfect. We will do control dot to add the using statement and our DB context looks good. We will go to program dot CS and let me copy the line where we are adding the DB context in our main bulky book project. Go back to the sample project that we have here and I will add that line right here. We also need the SQL Server package, so let me do manage NuGet packages here. And in the Browse tab, let me find the SQL Server package and install that. Perfect. We go back to program.cs to control dot here, and that works. Perfect. Now, before I scaffold identity on this dummy project, let me add that to my GitHub account. I will call that bulky book underscore temp and it will be a private repository. Perfect. Let me push all the changes that we have so far. And perfect. Now let me go here, right click, add new scaffolded item and we will be adding identity. Let me try to add that. This is super weird. If we create a new project, and only add the db context scaffolding is actually successful let me show that we will select the same configuration and we will try to scaffold identity and great you can see it works like a charm when you are working on a new project that is super super weird i have already logged a bug with microsoft on that but in the meanwhile now that we have identity scaffolded on this dummy project we know exactly which files were added here so why don't we copy these files manually to our main project now the main reason that i told you to use the same namespace is if you open any file here you can see it is using the same bulky book web so if the project name and solution name are exactly same then you will not face any issue when you copy things over so to notice what exactly do we have to copy in the areas folder it created a new area for identity and pages let me copy that so we will go to solution here open in file explorer and in areas we have identity let me cut that from here we will go back to our main project that we were working on in areas let me open that we already have admin and customer we will paste the identity folder right here great let me go back to the temporary code and we have three more changes it added a view with the name of login partial inside the shared folder let me go there shared we have the underscore login partial cut that view go back to our main project and there we will scroll up in views shared i will paste login partial perfect with that if i go back i have two more changes that were done when we scaffolded the identity in program.cs if you notice here it added something like add default identity let me copy those two lines for now and we will examine everything later on on top of that it also added app.use authentication let me switch back open the program.cs and where did it add that after the db context here let me paste that and right here when it added the default identity in the previous version the sign in require confirmed is equal to true was not present so basically only this line was added right here 
that extra parameter basically will require a confirmation that only a confirmed email will be allowed to sign in. We can skip that for now and stick with the basic here. Perfect, and the other line that was added, if we go back, was the use of authentication. I will copy and add that, and when we add it, we have to be careful. Authentication will always come before authorization in the pipeline. So, those two changes looks good here. Let me see what is the change in the CS proj file. It should add some of the NuGet packages for identity.ui and entity framework core.tools. Let me add those NuGet packages in our project as well. So we can go back here, manage NuGet packages in the web project. And we can see there is identity.ui. That package, I believe we already have it. That is installed, looks good. Entity framework core.tools, that is also installed. And web.codegeneration.design, that is also installed. So we did not have to do any of those changes. The only change that we did is in the areas folder, we copied the identity folder. In views, shared, we copied the login partial. And in the program.cs, we added authentication and we added two lines right here to add a default identity. Now what this line basically do, we will cover in the upcoming videos. But this will be the exact outcome if scaffold identity was working flawlessly on your machine. So if you see the weird error message, do not panic. You can use this workaround while Microsoft tries to figure out on what is going on when we have multiple project and areas and we try to scaffold identity. So I hope if you are stuck while adding the identity, you can use the workaround here to get started. That being said, in this video, I know we updated to .NET 6.0.9, but the complete video was recorded using RC1. So that is what we will follow along. I wanted to record the video. If in case you get stuck while adding the identity, you can resolve it in this manner.